Hi, I'm DC Coleman, a developer at Nywick Atlantic for the SCAP Compliance Checker, or SCC for short. This video is going to cover part two of two videos on the command line of SCC and its usage. In the first part, we discussed the command line configuration menu known as CSCC TAC TAC Config. In this part, we will discuss the individual command line parameters in CSCC and how you can use them to script your way into an automated compliance checking of your systems. Now you may recall from the first part of the video that under the help command, CSCC Tech Tech Help, that there are four sections, configuration, scanning, post scan reporting, and informational parameters. Picking up right from where we left off, let's look at some of the configuration parameters. The set profile and set profile all switches are useful if you're attempting to apply specific profiles to content streams, and it's identical in functionality to the CSCC TAC TAC config menu profile setting that we discussed in the first part of this video. If you have a profile that you want to apply to all of the content that is applicable, you would use set profile all and the profile name. You can also use list all profiles to get the names of the profiles that you can apply. So that's what I'm going to do right now. List all profiles. And so now what I have is a list of profiles that I could apply to all the content. And I see here that cat one only is one of the ones, and that's the one that I want to apply. So the command is then going to become set profile all to set this profile to all of the content. And then I'm going to put in cat one only. Okay, and the output shows me that it worked. Uh, all of the content for which this profile is applicable got its profile changed to cat one only. You can see here there's the Ubuntu 18 stig and the Ubuntu 16 stig, and those are both. SCAP 1.2 uh, items of content, and all of those were updated. So let's say you didn't want to apply that profile to all your content, that maybe you just wanted to apply it to one benchmark, for example. And by the way, if you're unfamiliar with the term benchmark, just think of it as synonymous with content name. So what we're going to do here is we're going to list all of the content names first, and we're to find the one that we want by issuing this command. You remember benchmarks means content names. Okay, so now that we have all the benchmarks listed, previously I had selected all profiles to have cat one only. And I've decided I don't want that. I've decided I want no profile selected. So what I'm gonna do here is the following command. I'm just gonna copy and paste this. Okay, so the command is set profile and then your profile, which actually in this case is no profile selected, and canonical Ubuntu 16.04 LTS. And now I can see that uh, the for the content 
the Ubuntu STIG 16 that no profile is selected, so it was successful. In the event you want to set specific options and don't want to use the CSCC Tech Tech config menu, or in the event the option is not even available to change in the CSCC Tech Tech config menu, you can make a quick and easy change to the option using the Tech Tech set opt command. Since you need to have the name of the option handy, first you should use TACTAC list opt to list out all of the available options. Okay, so we have a lot of options here. Um, and the one that I want is this one called SCAP scan. SCAP scan is a Boolean option of whether you want to execute an SCAP scan when you tell SCC to scan. TACTAC list op tells us here that SCAP scan accepts input of type Boolean, so the parameter we're going to need to set the set op command to is either going to be either a zero for false or a one for true. Therefore, the full command I'm going to issue is going to be set opt s cap scan zero. Okay, and it tells me that it's been set to zero. And so if I wanted to change it back later, I can just do SCAP scan one. And it tells me that it's changed it back to one. Um, now, if I put in the wrong type, let's say I just put a bunch of gibberish in here, the input validation is going to tell me that it's not possible, and it actually won't save the value. So, what you'll have to do is you'll have to make sure that you have list op switch, the tac tac list op uh, handy, uh, so you can figure out what the exact name is of the option you want to apply and the exact type of input that you should put into it. Another command that's relevant to the options file has a way to revert options back to the default. So, uh, in the case that we had just now, we had SCAP scan go to zero, and then we changed it back to one. However, because the default of SCC is to have SCAP scan the value one, we could have just issued the command restore default, which restores all options to the installation default. So I'm going to demonstrate that now. And actually, first, I know that SCAP scan its value is one, we changed that, but I'm going to pretend like we don't remember and we want to know what it is. Just normal everyday usage here. In that case, I would do get opt SCAP scan to retrieve the value if I didn't remember what it was. Okay. And it's telling us it's one. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set it to zero again. Okay, I've changed it back to zero. But now I'm going to do something different. If you do tac tac restore default, all of the options are going to be now the default. So that means SCAP scan, which we just changed to zero. Well, we did restore default, so if we try to get the value now, you're going to see it restored to the fault, which is 1.
For a quick way to enable or disable content, there are a few switches that you can use. So the command CSCC tech EA is going to enable all of the SCAP and oval content. And here I have a little bit of oval content that I installed too. I have two SCAP content pieces and two oval content pieces. And when I do EA, you can see that all oval and all SCAP has been enabled. Likewise, if I do DA, it's actually going to disable all of the content. You can also use UA, which goes a step further than disabling, and actually goes ahead and uninstalls all of the SCAP and oval content. I'm not going to do that here because I'm about to demonstrate another one. So provided that you have content installed, you can use CSCC tag EAR command, E-A-R, uh, which is similar to EA in order to enable all the SCAP and oval content, but it actually runs a scan after you issue the command with all the content that you just enabled. So that's pretty useful. So I'm gonna try that now. CSCC tag E-A-R or EAR. That's enable all and run is what it stands for. Okay, and now you see it's gonna run all the, it enabled all the content and it's going to run all the content. We won't stick around for that. We're just gonna cancel here. So previously I talked about the TAC UA command and, but I didn't demonstrate it. Uh, and that was because I wanted to enable all and run and I needed some content to do it. But in this scenario, I'm going to be installing some. So what I want to do now is just demonstrate the TAC UA for you. And really, all it does is install, it uninstalls everything on your system. Okay, so now that we've brought up the subject of scanning, such as the TAC EAR command, Let's discuss commands you'd use to install some content and run a scan. Unlike the TAC EAR, which enables all content, both SCAP and OVAL, and runs a scan, the command TAC ISR is a bit more surgical uh, in its approach and involves installing some content before running. So let's say you don't have the Ubuntu 16 STIG in co content installed for the sake of the argument. And here, since I just uninstalled it, we don't. Here you could use the tech ISR command in the path of your file to install it, and it will install, enable, and run the content for you. So I'll go ahead and show you that. ISR standing for install, uh, and run, and the S stands for SCAP. There's actually another command that I'll show you in a second for oval, but this one is for SCAP. And then I'm going to need to put path. I've got some content here on the desktop. Um, let's say we want. Let's say we wanted to install the 18 stick Ubuntu 18. Okay, so now we've installed that content that wasn't there before, and it is actually running. Uh, I want to show you something else. Um, let's say that you had that content already installed. What's going to happen is it's going to show you something, uh, something along the lines of uh, this can't be, yeah, uh, command terminated, content was not run because an overwrite wasn't enabled. In this case, if you've got the content already installed, but you want to reinstall for some reason, you can do that too. You use tac tac force. Yep, and it reinstalled everything. Now, th this might be um, 
pretty useful in a scenario where like you'd have a script that you want to run for a specific item of content, but you didn't actually know whether it was installed or not, or you had a daily scan in a cron job, for example. Um, you can also provide a profile with this command if you desire. If you could just tack it on afterwards, such as ISR path profile. Um, so I'll just cancel out of that. And in this case, I'm just going to add a profile. Uh, let's say no profile selected. Okay, now I'm going to stop it there. And if you look up at the top, it says updated profiles on one and one content streams. That means that this profile was selected and run. Uh, so uh, that's one way that you can do a lot of stuff and script a lot of stuff at the same time with SCC. In this case, we installed from a path and we also chose a profile. Very scriptical, pretty easy to use. And one more thing, if you wanted to just install the content, but you don't actually want to scan, just use TAC IS, which that's going to install and enable the content, but it's not actually going to run a scan. Please note that these commands, IS and ISR, as I mentioned before, are for SCAP content only. In the scenario in which you want to do the same thing, but for oval content instead, substitute a V instead of an S in ISR. So it becomes IVR. The same rules are going to apply. Tech IVR to install, enable, and run a scan on the oval content, or IV just to install and enable, and use the tech tech force to reinstall if you're not sure whether it's installed or not and you want to force it. Since oval doesn't have profiles, adding a profile after the path is not actually possible here. So I'll demonstrate that for you real quick. IVR to install oval and run. And here I've got some on my desktop in a folder called content, agnostic oval. Okay, and just like the ISR command, the IVR command installs Oval and it runs it. So if you don't have any content that you want to install and you have everything set up in SCC the way you want it, being the right content is enabled and you've chosen SCAP and or Oval scans the way you want, you can go ahead and just use CSCC without any parameters at all to just scan your systems. From here, you can build on specifics that you'd like for the scan as scan parameters. So if I go in the system and I just do CSCC, whatever I've chosen as the configuration previously, it's going to run a scan. We'll stop there. One example of what you might use as a scan parameter, one that's pretty useful in troubleshooting, is the TAC V switch. Using this switch uh, is going to enable the creation of debug logs in the logs directory that give you a great deal of, ins of insight into the happenings inside SCC and help you diagnose issues when scanning your systems. So, same thing, but just put on TAC V. And there's going to be a lot of info and a lot to standard out as well. It might almost be too much. So on the opposite end of the spectrum, uh, the TAC-Q commands will make SCC run a quiet mode, which will give you no screen output during a scan. And as you can see, there is no screen output. That concludes our fifth video and part two of the command line for SCC. Be sure to visit our website for more information and more videos. Thanks for watching.